Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today I have a quick review for you on the Stokio Black Box cartridge case. Now this is a product which has been around for a while, but I haven't had a chance to play with it until now. And the reason that I've now had that opportunity is that our colleagues at DJ City Japan have done a collaboration with Stokio and we now have the Genre Bender branded versions in black or in red. And this you know, genre bender branding, I'm sure you will have seen that on the chest by now of a lot of the open format DJs that you respect out there. I certainly have. It's a cool bit of branding. But yeah, this is ultimately a DJ City product that I'm talking about here. So how am I going to review this objectively? Well, it's simple, really. If this was whack, it would go back. That's my rule on the channel, right? If I don't like it, I would just be on the email to Tokyo and I'd say, sorry, guys, thanks for sending through the cases. I can't do a video about them because it's it's not quite there. Um, and the other thing as well is, right, if you don't want to buy the genre bender version, that's fine. Go buy the yellow fool's gold version that uh, Atrax crew have done or the regular black one from Stokio, right? You don't have to buy the DJ City version. I'm not going to push you towards that. Ultimately, it's just a nice color, nice logo. The product itself is what really counts. And I do like the product in here, you know, in 2016, if you are a vinyl DJ or a vinyl DVS user, you really do need to carry around your own cartridges. It's just one of those things now. You can't rely on the right carts and working carts being at the club every time. It's just not the world we live in now. So when you've got your expensive new cartridges that you've bought, how do you carry them around? Well, Autophon generally ship now in these cardboard boxes with the inserts, not gonna take any kind of beating. If you've bought M447s with the head shells, then sometimes you get these tubes. These are pretty cool, but nowhere really safe to store your spare needles in there. Autophon have historically shipped with these nice flight cases, really solid, like the, the actual build of these, but not a terribly good use of space. You know, you've got two Concords in there. Really, you could do a lot more with that space. And I've tried a few aftermarket ones over the years. You know, Autophon had a kind of a soft bag kind of thing, uh, which was okay, but really massive, like far too big for what it should have been. And I've been a fan of the Shaw MCC cartridge case. It's got the same kind of construction as the black box. Um, this kind of hard plastic, very well put together. But the thing with the Shaw is it holds four cartridges or head shells, but there's no dedicated space to actually store your spare needles, which is kind of a weird one. You know, do you really want to carry around four head shells, but no spare needles in there? And the other thing with the Shaw one, it doesn't hold Concords. You know, if you try and put Concords in there, you shut it up, it will break the arms on your Concords. So that's an immediate write off for a lot of people who use Qberts or S120s or whatever from Autophon not going to work. The black box, however, is a bit more flexible. You've got room for two cartridges in there and you can use either Technic style head shells or you can have Concords in there as well quite comfortably and you've got the padding at the top to make sure everything is nice and snug and you just put them in one at a time. You have to do the left one last when you're inserting. So you pull them out, twist them, out they come and then that gives you access to your little separate compartment on the right hand side to store your spare needles and so on. And that comes with this pick and pluck foam. So you can actually shape it as you wish in there and get stuff nice and snug when traveling, which is really important. You don't want stuff shaking around too much. Um, and again, yeah, nice and simple. Just pop them back in one at a time. Right one goes in first. And then the left one goes in. And seal it up and that's it. A really simple product, which does the job it's supposed to do. It's not terribly expensive. You know, you're looking at a cost of between sort of 40 and $65, depending where you are in the world and which version that you go for as well. The limited edition genre bender ones and Fool's Gold tend to be a bit more than the standard Stokio Black one. But whichever version you plump for, I think the value is there. You know, this is something that's going to protect your cartridges and these things can be pretty expensive, especially if you're looking at, you know, the Autophon Concords and stuff. They can cost you a small fortune when you first get the cartridges. So you want to keep them safe on your travels and this will do the job for you very nicely. So there you go. A simple review for a simple product. I like this a lot. Thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks and product reviews. I'll see you soon.